All right. So I apologize, I wasn't recording earlier. But for those of y'all who were not here and you need to watch the recording, all we talked about was that Chris is the chair of the speaker committee and he's coming up with ideas of how he's going to delegate the coaching, I guess, of the speakers to make sure that the speakers are ready to speak. Um, we have a lot of speakers who have applied already and uh, we anticipate more. The deadline is tomorrow. Um, so one of the things I do want to point out is so we, we need to have a process to select the speakers. So typically what I'll what I'll do is we have the spreadsheet and I'll I'll put in there like a matrix of ranking. So if you live in the Corpus Christi area, you get more points. Does that make sense? Because we do have some applications from outside of Corpus Christi. Doesn't mean that they can't speak. It just means that we want our local. This is like local. Does that make sense? So they would have to prove to us that they are they're locally virtual, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, so th so there's so there's that. And then the other thing I wanted to mention about the speakers, I like how you said you wanted to meet the speakers. One of the things we've done before is we've had um, like I don't want to say auditions, but we, we can set up maybe an hour and the speakers come in and we we put them in a breakout room does that make sense and we meet them yeah. and they and they talk to us for like even like two to three minutes just to kind of see you know because on paper it's different than in person right definitely so um so we could do that so and this is for the people who are on the committee so when we decide on selecting the speakers we could probably just pick one of these meeting dates and just say that meeting is dedicated to to speak our auditions not really auditions but to meet the speakers and then the ones that we've we've shortlisted right we don't i mean if there's people who we look and we're like uh, no, you know we don't want that person or um or not that we don't want that person uh we think that there's other ideas that have just kind of risen to the top their idea is great but it's there's other really good ones um so i think i think that's probably what we should do what do you think chris yeah that's a great idea and okay. Also, everybody that's asked me about speaking, one of their first questions is, is there someone that can help me with my talk? And I told them all, we have some Toastmasters coaches that can help you. Yes. And that's correct, right? That is correct. Okay. And we also have people who, we always ask them to write out their speech, right? So even though it's kind of hard sometimes, you're not going to read your speech, but it's important to write it out. And then we have people who can even review that and refine it and then we can practice the speech. Does that make sense? That's great. And we don't want them to rehearse a written speech. I mean, no one's reading it, but we want them to at least have all their ideas on paper. Yeah, that just helps them organize it and make sure yeah. that they're not redundant. Yeah, and, and, I, and there's really good people who are good writers out there who just, oh, you know, they know how to say, if you start like this and then you hook them and then you, and that's, they do that roller coaster thing <laughs> with talks. They help you kind of keep the audience still engaged. So, hey, Sarita. Hi, how are you? <clears throat> okay, so, um, so Chris, I don't know if you mind. Can you write this up somehow on a document of how we you think we're going to do this and maybe a timeline? Sure. Maybe you can. We can start off with what the deadline is, and then if you start a Google Doc, I can help you fill it in. Does that make sense? Yeah. I just want your thought process on it first, and then I and then I'll fill in for you. Okay, perfect. So everybody who's on the speaker committee, I guess, uh, and I mean, I'm, I can be pretty aggressive with it. We have, we have uh, that TEDx Atlanta event is next week, right? Has everyone registered for it? Yes. No, I'm gonna put the link in the chat and as I'm talking, go do it. Unless you're on your phone, I guess. I was ready for you to say no, but I had already copied it. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, they're going to say no, and I'm just going to let them know that they need to do it. Um, okay, so register, and we'll see you on Saturday at 10, right? I think it's 12 their time, so it's 10 our time. And um, so we'll see you at the Atlanta event, so we can see how to do a virtual. Make sense? Now, if you want to be super aggressive with this, we can start meeting speakers. I mean, that would mean that you guys have to be on at 9 and then continue to be on until 12. So it would be like your whole morning, but we could meet speakers next week if you want. So then we're going to do this meeting and then go on this. Yeah. So uh, there's no decision to be made. All we would do it, this, it would be a, like a low, 
for me, it would be a low, um, and I'm, I apologize if my eyes are shifting. There's some really cute squirrels outside playing. <laughs> <laughs> they're distracting me go away i'm working um okay so um <laughs> they're so cute so um, from my perspective i feel like the saturday event at tedx live we're not doing anything we're participating so it's kind of like a right. little effort on our part you know we're just gonna hang out from 10 to 12. and then if we did this so that we don't work so hard the on at nine we could just be meeting the speakers does that make sense yeah, we're not making any decisions. There's no decision. Everybody would get the spreadsheet and we would just be inviting the potential speakers to come and we would admit them. You know how we are admitting each other to to these meetings? Yes, mm -hmm. we would admit, like we would admit a, one speaker and say, OK, go, <laughs> you know, tell us about your talk. And we I mean, I could even time them, you know, and just tell them they have two to three minutes and then say, okay, thank you, next. Does that make sense? Sure. Would we, would we like to know that just to stay in the waiting room then? Yeah, so we would just, we would, I'll create okay. an event and we could probably just use this one. No, I'll create a separate event so that they don't know about this link. And then, um, okay, yeah, I thought you were gonna fall. And then, yeah, do you understand? I think you got it, Zoraida. Any, does anybody not get it? But, so verbal affirmations are great. <laughs> great. Yay. Yay. Okay. So, um, so I think what we'll do, if, in, if, it, if anyone doesn't agree, that's cool. You know, if you want to kind of wait another week, but I think if we, as when we wait, I feel like it's not like we wait and we're doing a bunch of stuff while we're waiting. I think we wait. So we procrastinate, right? <laughs> I don't know if y'all are like me. That's how I am. I'm like, <laughs> and then the day before I'm like, oh my gosh, you know? So it could have been the next day and I would have still been doing the same thing I did two weeks later. So um, if you're okay, then what I can do is work with Chris and we'll let the potential speakers know that we are expecting them to be here with us at nine next week yeah. to not audition, but to meet them. Does that make sense? Yes. Yes. Okay. Is there a second opportunity for them to like meet? I was if about they to say, yeah. make that nine o'clock on Saturday. What do you mean? Like, if they can't do the nine o'clock? Yeah, if they can't do the nine o'clock. Yeah, so what we can do is we can have them do a recording. We won't give them another option. So gotcha. if they can't make it, we'll just tell them to do a two to three minute and we'll just give them something to say. Does that make sense? Sounds good. Okay. Yeah, and then we'll we'll watch it. I think that's the best thing to do. And then that helps us because we've, we've selected speakers. Thanks, Stephanie. We've selected speakers before um, without even meeting them. And then when we meet them, it's like somebody else wrote their talk, <laughs> their audition. So, um, so I guess from my perspective, this is good. And then that way, you know what? It may seem like we're going to be, it's going to be a lot, but it's not. All we're doing is watching people and seeing whether you resonate. Make sense? Yeah. Okay, perfect. And the other thing I need to remind you all is as we're going through this and I, I'll reiterate it, you know, the, the TED message is supposed to be local, but you know, we don't want any political agendas, no, you know, religious agendas, you know, none of that kind of talks. So this is why we probably need to do this. You know what I mean? We just need to make sure that, you know, we're not going to be in, in a situation where somebody comes on and you know <laughs> no we don't need a commercial it's not inclusive which is against ted's rules all right perfect so the speakers are done um i'm gonna move on to the trello board so we can get some other stuff done yes baby yeah can you baby can you wait now, my husband's not here. He went to take the big boys, one of the big boys to the optician. So you guys get to meet Zakai. Zakai? Mm -hmm. no, you took them to go do what? The optician. One of my son's eyes is not. He's. Ooh. Okay. To go to the I, I guess do you call the optician or the optometrist? What do you guys call him? Say optometrist. optometrist. Optom I know it's, I think it's optometrist is better. Uh, 
eye okay. doctor. <laughs> what? This is simple. Eye doctor. <laughs> eye doctor. There you go. <laughs> can, I ask one, can I ask one more thing about the speaker meeting? Yes. Are you going to schedule like people? Are you going to tell people like every 10 minutes? Like you're going to stagger, schedule people out? Yes. So we'll do the, if, we'll I'm, do if, if I'm going to be one of the speakers talking, I mean, can, will I just come on like this right now and then maybe be like the first speaker and then go out? Um, you don't need to go out, Tim. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. I think what you're saying is in terms of the fairness of you making a decision, you just don't get to vote. Okay. Yeah. But I think it's important because you're part of the process. It's important sure. for you to see, right? Sure. I yeah. mean, everybody, let me know if you agree. He just can't vote, <laughs> but he gets to, to be part of the process of, of see, you know, seeing it come together. Right on. Yeah. We've had that happen before and there's never there's never been a problem with with the people who were on the planning and then they had a great talk idea they got selected to speak and you're just not voting on yourself or anybody um, yeah. thank you i have a question really quick um yeah. also and i may just use the group the group me to do this, is there's anything that you want, you guys want me to add or to promote on Facebook? Just let me know. There's some things that I kind of know. This was kind of my first, is it first week? Kind of putting it out there. You've been doing great, by the way. Thank you. Yeah. I've been finding out some interesting things, though. <laughs> I haven't been on Facebook, or I guess I kind of go on Facebook through other apps, if that makes sense. Yeah. Otherwise, if I go in there, I'm like sucked Crazy. in by all the babies. Yeah. Thanks to, but yeah, if there's anything that you just put it on the, um, the group me and be like, Hey, Sarita, is there a way you can you promote this? Or this is really cool. And then I can decide, you know, put it okay. on there. Hey, can you, and I'll, I'll just tell you right now, can you promote the TEDx uh, Atlanta? I'll do it today. Okay. Yeah. So people know, and you can put something like TEDx Cold Park, um, connects you to TEDx Atlanta. We're going to be there. Hope you join us. Something okay. like that. Um, so I, the only thing I want to talk about actually was speakers. So we can talk about the, um, if you don't mind guys, we can talk about the, um, the rest of the committees. Does anybody else want to talk about anything else with the speakers? Um, I was, I don't think I made a, did a good job of making myself clear earlier. I kind of wanted to have each speaker have one of us that they go to when they have any questions or they're working on their talk and they just want some encouragement or some, feedback yes I kind of wanted to just assign each speaker to somebody in the committee okay yeah so we'll definitely do that that's a great idea like us like a, a mentor like a coach. Yeah. so that's what the coach role is cool yeah having someone they could reach out to that's good yeah well I don't want to take advantage of the Toastmasters coaches and just only send everybody to them when they need help because they have enough stuff to do already right so speaker. And I think everyone is bringing something to the table in the sense we all have some little experience in one way or the other. So we'll be able to help them. Yeah. And every speaker is going to need something different. What yes. Call that, that role? You're, are you a speaker angel? That's what came to <laughs> mind. <laughs> so I'm going to put a sign planning committee, right? That'd be 10, right? We're going to have 10 speakers? Yeah. Well, that's the goal. We would we would probably select 12 in case somebody drops out. Oh, okay. Yeah. I think we were saying that before. Okay, I'm going to go through the list, okay? Yep. Um, so we're, we're done with the speakers. So, Chris, I think you have everybody's contact information, right? Yes. So, is there any way you can come up with, like, a little plan for us? That's what I'm working on right now. Perfect. And I think it probably should go from like 9.10 until like 9.50. So if you just divide up that time and then see how much time we can give people to speak. Okay. And then we'll deal with that later. Uh, show production. Tim, did you have anything? Not yet. 
Okay. And kind of pending. Yeah, I think if I think after we see Atlanta, we'll know more. Because I think they're using Zoom. So we'll just need to know, you know, first of all, what technology, right? Yes. Linda's not here on the budget, and I think we were going to try to get Chris's mom to help us. Mother-in-law. Mother-in-law. <clears throat> Sponsorship. Simone's not here. No, S Simone's mother-in-law's in the hospital. She she got wrapped up helping her mother-in-law. Oh no. Okay, that's fine. Okay, and you know what? Could we? I'm sorry. Could we back up to show production? Yes, sir. Okay, so we're so basically. Then we're going to see how they're doing it for this event. So yeah. potentially that's what ours is going to look like. Yes. And the only reason I'm, I'm telling y'all to go to that is because the people who, who are planning this one, I was with them at the TED Live that TED did. Does that make sense? Yeah. And it was amazing. I mean, you know, yeah. TED is a big organization. So they had obviously like 100 tech people, you know, behind the scenes making this Zoom amazing. So if it was so that I amazing... Got like yeah. we can see what they did and and see how a virtual event can be L like energetic even though you're, you're by yourself at your house <laughs> okay and that so that was my next question so potentially show production could be like looking at you right now i mean you could be at home and with a backdrop and and that could be so, or are we going to have a, so this is part of deciding are we going to have like a central location where everybody comes we no. were even talking about maybe men meeting out at the location and filming from there. I mean, is that that's we're waiting to find out? No. So what I'm thinking, this is how I'm thinking it's going to go. On the day of the event, we're all going uh -huh. to be at our homes. Okay. There's not, I'm so sorry. Yes, sir. Hey. I guess you're, are you looking for a come, um, uh, an outline, right, Tim? Like, what is expectations? Maybe after the Atlanta, we will know more. Well, just with well, that question, or what she's getting ready to say, we're all the, all the speaker is going to be from home. They'll just have a backdrop like Lisa has right now. And okay, so this is what I'm hoping we could do. There's 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 that version where people are going to talk live, right? Right. But there's but when we go to TEDx Live, you'll see what they've done. Right on. They okay, have so we'll recorded just... the talks. So like, for example, if we get with the Delma production team, yeah, right. we would have a day where they set up for us somewhere, yeah. a TEDx stage. Right. Because at the end of the day, we can't blame COVID for not giving people a quality talk. Like, right. like your talk may be amazing, but then the Zoom is so glitchy. And you know what I mean? Right. It may mess up your talk. And I don't want to, I don't want that on, on amazing, amazing talks. So I'm imagining that, um, I'm imagining that we'll talk with, um, I'm trying to get a hold of the Del Mar AV people. I, I, I was given a name and then I was given another name. <laughs> now I'm on that name. <laughs> and hopefully that person. So responds. If the, if the event is on the 17th, then potentially that week before the 17th will be, having people recorded speeches, preparing. And maybe even earlier. Okay. Just to make sure. And the other reason is um, I, would, I would want to do some post-production on the recordings so that it, it, it's, it looks good. Does that make sense? Yeah. So if we recorded, I'm looking at a calendar. So if we recorded on the 17th, Sorry, if, if the event's on the 17th, then there's the 10th. If we can record on the 3rd, right? Start recording on the 3rd? Uh-huh. Okay. Just in case, you never know. Okay. And keeping in mind that whoever is helping us with this, like, media, um, we're going to work with, everyone's going to work together to make a stage. Does that make sense? Okay. And, and then okay. it's not, and nobody's, we don't want everyone there. Like, it would literally just be the production people recording that person's talk okay so um so you know this person so maybe between now and next meeting before we watch this atlanta event you'll have maybe a more contact person for me yeah so i've, okay. I've been bounced around so i the person who i thought what it was and i can't remember the name of the is it john jason holland i think is the name that i was given now so i'm waiting to hear back from him okay 
So if you want me to, if you want me to follow up on any of that, just let me know. Yeah. And if you, if you guys know anyone else, I still haven't heard back from produce. The people from produce. Produce. Have, is it produce? Pro Produce, yeah. I say downtown. Wrong. It's not, yeah, yeah. It's not I mean, either way, it's yeah. The vegetable people, no. Right on, yeah. <laughs> I haven't heard back from them, so if you know yeah. them, you know. Um, so, and, and if anybody else has anyone who can possibly help us, because I would prefer it if, for example, Chris has found us a company that will do marketing, so they'll work with Tammy to do all our marketing. Does that make sense? And they'll do it. They'll do it like no cost. They're a marketing company. I wonder if um, we had, since it's virtual now, so the ex I would figure like sponsorship events or, or sponsorship possibilities are a little different now to, to try to get somebody to produce it. Or you want to stick to Del Mar? No, I know Del Mar? for sure if we get with the Del Mar team, they'll do it because they have okay. a video production. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, yeah. So we'll yeah. we'll know that we'll find students or or them. Delma will either yeah. do it or the students. The awesome. second thing is, if I could get um, the the people from produce from produce, <laughs> yes, to um to do it, they're better because they do it for a living. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. But obviously, I want them to do it at no cost. <laughs> so if you guys know anyone who can do this for us, like Sarita said, feel free to tell them that we are looking, but they would have to handle it, right? We're not looking for people who are like, well, I'll bring my equipment, tell us what to do. It's like, no, you are the one to tell us what you need. <laughs> you know? Put on the show. Yeah, you tell us what you think. Like, um, like that's your business. Like, you're good at that, you know? So it would be it's for kind of thing. recording the talk? Yes, to record the people's talks. Okay. Yeah. I'll ask them out. Yeah, and it's just to record their talks. And of course, we would have a location that we would set up to be like a TED stage. And then we would do the recordings there. And then we would, we would play the recordings at the event. Yeah, but um, also um, when you're de dealing with production and recording, you know, having a really good... Um, green screen also we won't still won't have to do a, a you know a serious backdrop or anything or you know be nailing and stuff like that so it still can be virtual when, um, when you have when the production has that green screen so I don't see um, just you know uh, having to bring in anything physical in to to do the backdrop if it's done properly well, typically with a TED talk, people are walking around on a stage. So that would yeah. have to be the biggest green screen ever. <laughs> so we would lose the whole effect of live, if that makes sense. Okay. I would just, I would just, um, I'm looking, um, not sure how, um, so you clarified it. So that's, that's the thing. Yeah. I'm hoping we could probably get like Harbor Playhouse, places that are already Set up well, maybe a and will let us use a place. Yeah, I, I was going to say, wow, how about Texas awesome. A&M? I'm sorry, Deanna. I was going to say, how about Texas A&M? Does anybody know there? Somebody? Yeah, so that, that's another place we could probably reach out to. So the Playhouse already said, let us know how we can help. Help me, he's here! <laughs> We're like squirrel. Another <laughs> squirrel. So cute. <laughs> we are pinning the baby. Hi, baby. <laughs> <Aww>. <laughs> A little tush. Are you burping the baby? <laughs> no, he's about to get something else out of the baby. We can shake him. <laughs> if someone. So, cute. Aww. so, what's that like to find a production company? Well, we're gonna use. We're gonna try and get Delmar, correct? Yeah. Well, I know Jason. He's been working on a lot of things with graduation and stuff. Yeah. So, but, yeah, he's been crazy busy. So that's why I'm asking, like, what's the deadline to to solidify a production company? Uh, Sometime maybe by if you can say if we can say by two weeks from now. So like the eighth yeah. of August. 
Well, the eighth of June. Um, the week after the two weeks. Yeah, it's like the other. Uh... And Deanna, if you know him, then just let him know I'm trying to get a hold of him. And okay. then, um, and the goal okay. here is I know for a fact that Delmore will do it. They're amazing and they've done it before for us. Yeah, I mean so, they just won the prize for like best production. Some, yeah, he he and, won just. And recently. they're good. They'll come yeah. in and do everything. As in, literally, if Delmar's involved, we're not lifting a finger on production. Not not production, but in terms of thinking about all those things, they know how to do the mics. Right. They're not asking us questions. They're telling us what they need. So, how did you try to get a hold of him? Email him or what? Um, I somebody sent me his Facebook profile. Okay. Yeah. So, so yeah. So, so we have. You can so we have production. Me. So we have production company. We just need stage, and then it's thinking about how how, to, how, how we're going to set the stage. Yes, and the thing is also, if Delmar does it, they have a degree that is everything we're talking about, and they would get their students to do everything. Stage setting, yeah. So we just give them an idea what we want, and then they can make it happen. I mean, they also have the theaters, like not just yeah. the Richardson, but the smaller ones mm -hmm. that yeah. you know would be probably good for recording yeah. too. Like it's, they would already have access. It's just a matter of yeah. It's gonna be good if we find a production that has everything there. <laughs> All the stuff already done. Yeah. Yeah, and we just we would just need to buy a red rug, I guess, because everybody kind of likes that whole TED circle that you start talking on. Oh. Yep. And then, and I'll work uh, on that and, too. And we have one. I just the person who has it last hasn't emailed me back. So. Maybe they'll I have a red square <laughs> in my house. <laughs> well, they have a red square. They have the red, the red circles that uh, like uh, Lowe's, and it's like seventy bucks. Yeah, but I, but we had already bought one. So if okay. I could just get a hold of that person, maybe they have it in their storage. Um, then, but these are really good questions. So for sure, definitely, um, anybody out there who can think of production. Now, the other thing I can say is. It, it doesn't hurt to have more than one because another thing I want to do is um, I want to be able to produce some three to five minute promos that we can just have. So like, um, let's say Sarita is on the planning committee and Sarita could do a two to three minute of Y TED. Does that make sense? Y TEDx, whole park. Yeah. And, we can, and if we had those, if we had many of those, you know, it just adds to the whole event production yeah and and then we don't put it all on one like if delmar says that they can do the 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 speeches right then this then whoever else we get they're welcome too does that make sense because then they can do maybe the speaker interviews may you know what i mean yeah do we yeah. have a photographer no we need a photographer okay of course, on the day of the event, we'll ask people to take selfies of themselves. We'll do screenshots, you know, yeah. all that. But we could definitely use a photographer on site when the speakers are speaking. Because imagine if you get selected to do a TED Talk, you want a photo where you're talking on a TED Talk. Right. <laughs> a good so, professional if, one, yeah. If, it, if no one has someone, I can contact somebody unless someone else I don't. has a person. Okay. Okay. Say go for it, Tim, and then if, okay. if they don't come through, then sure. we can just put it out again on the group. Okay. The group hey, I, believe, like, hey. I believe in everybody can be there. So if I'm a photographer and on my resume it says that I phot I photographed a TEDx event, the TEDx, that's awesome. Sure. Yeah. And if there's two photographers yeah. there, two styles yeah. of photography, you know, three, it yeah. should all come. Okay. So whoever wants to I come. Know the, I know the university photographer, so I, I was going to reach out to him. Lisa, I'm sorry, I'm having technical problems. Did you say you needed a connection with Delmar AV? Yes. I can help you on that. Is this Linda? Yes. Hi. Hey, I like your voice. I know it. <laughs> okay, yeah, I can help you. It's um, Delmar KEDT. Oh my gosh, yes. Yeah. I can help you with that one. Right, fine from over here. KEDT, <laughs> right. studio, right? Yeah, I'm sorry? They have studio. Yeah. That would be awesome. Oh, yeah. Oh, gosh. Yes, Linda. I'm hugging you. No problem. Okay. <laughs> okay. I'll get with you offline about it, all right? Or whenever. But I can give Don Dunlap a call Monday. You are amazing. 
Thank you. Uh, I'm just, we're all working together, man. It's going to be great because everybody's yes. part of it. Thank you. We want him involved, definitely. I have a quick question. Yes. So now that we have hopefully a studio, et cetera, I know Chris, you mentioned the Harbor House wanted to say, hey, you know, let us know how we can help. Can you say that? Harbor Playhouse, yes, ma'am. Harbor Playhouse, sorry. Um, what do we want them to do? Because I feel like if people are volunteering and they're really good, like we think about what we could use them for so they know, do they want them as, as far as coaching and dramatic and stage presence? Is that something that they, you know, that they want to train people on or is it what, what would they want to do? Because I think that they're a big, they would be a big help for a lot of things, but I don't, I guess just nailing down what we want them to do. Does that make sense? Yeah, first let's find out what they're willing to do and we'll go from there. Let me find okay. out what they're willing to do. Okay, awesome. And then my second question, sorry, I'm like taking over here, but okay. what was the, um, since we're doing this virtual, I know we had originally had VIP area. Maybe I missed it the first eight minutes. What are we doing for the VIPs now? Oh, it was the gift basket, right? It was the, the gift baskets. Okay. From so uh, say, Christy. Oh, okay. I was going to say if we did that, we could, it's going to be donated. Okay. All right. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. Gracias. All right. Did, were you here last week, Sarada? No, no, you, you texted no, me. No, maybe that's why I missed it. Yeah, maybe, yeah. <laughs> okay, oh, okay. Here? It's like no. I missed one and I'm like, ah. Yeah, yeah. 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 I also wanted to ask about that because I missed it, the other meeting too. And so I wanted to know if there are notes on the meetings or something that we can catch up on. Yeah. And all the notes that are here, actually. We took notes on here. Oh, okay. On the thingy. Yeah. And I oh, okay. didn't record last week. So can we just go through it then really quickly, just so that you guys feel kind of like back in on it. So the VIP experience is changing, no more lawn stuff. So now we're just gonna do, people still want the blanket um, because, uh, because it's just kind of cool to have a blanket. So, um, so we're, we're just gonna get with Nikki Riojas with Megan Corpus Christi, and she's going to figure out for us a VIP basket that is stuff that's made in Corpus Christi. She collaborates with different businesses in town that make products here in Corpus Christi and have them cr branded with the TEDx Cole Park for us. So like, for example, there's a lady who makes soap, so she could make a TEDx Cole Park scent, soap or candle. Does that make sense? And we, and we can sign up for the VIP and everything also, right? Like I'm we sorry? can. We can sign up for the VIP also and just yes, have that. Yes, the VIPs are, right now the VIPs are $80 and we've sold 10 of them, I think. So um, I'm just going to notify them all once we have everything final that the VIP experience has changed from, you know, we're not doing it online, uh, in person anymore, it's online. And I'll just explain to them that they thought that we're getting a lawn chair and a blanket and a VIP tent access. And now it's changed to we're going to give them a basket that has food and beverage in there and all TED, all TEDx merch made in Corpus Christi. Does that make sense? That's cool yeah. though. That's like a one-time deal. $80 worth. Okay. So, okay. So show production. It sounds like Tim, you're going to see what you can do on your end. Um, I can't remember what you said you were going to do, but I have it in terms of Linda KDT, Tim photographer. Chris is going to find out how Harbor Playhouse can help us. And Deanna, you're going to reach out to Jason, right? Yeah, send him a message. It's Holland, right? Yeah. Okay. I think it's actually, no, it's Hulin or something. It's H-O-U-L-I. Like it's spelled differently. Yeah, I'm just going to put H. Okay, so yeah. <laughs> my name. Anyway, okay. So, um, so you'll follow up on that. Is that making sense to everybody how the show is probably going to run? We're going to have the event live, but we want the talks to be <laughs> recorded because we don't want to mess up of bandwidth. The internet went down at their house, you know, all that mess. Yeah. And now quick question. Are there going to be like Q and A portions at all or no? 
Yes. So there's, it's really fun. When we go to TEDx Atlanta, you'll see, probably they'll do the same thing that Ted did. There's breakout rooms. There's, um, there's even like after the person talks, after we hear their talk, the co-host, the, the way TEDx Live did it is they had two co-hosts and the co-host, one co-host would introduce the speaker and then the talk would be given. And then the speaker would come on on the Zoom and how, how did you do that talk? It was like a one to two minute just vibe with the speaker. Does that make sense? On, on the live. Yeah. And then that was it. So, and then obviously in the chats blowing up with everyone going, that was amazing, da, 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 you know? And then, um, and then the next speaker gets introduced by the next co-host and they kind of go like that. Does that make sense? Yeah. And how many speaker applications do we have right now? I can't remember. How many, Chris? 18? I think it was about 17 or 18. Yeah, oh. I'm going to go wow. to it. I think more is coming this weekend. I try to push it to some yeah. people. Or sh should be, they're like, yeah, it's due I already. <laughs> What's yeah. your max? One of the things I can tell you uh, is, that, um, and my name's on there, on there, but not because I want to speak. I was testing it. And Ten I, with backup. I can't remember. Some people. Name on there. Um, okay, so here is the list. We have 11, so it's 10. Okay. We're choosing What's the max? 10 speakers okay. and how many backup people? Two. Two backups? Mm -hmm. And we can decide to do less if we wanted to. Does that make sense? I had it as 10. The talks are pretty Eight. short. Like this. You said five minutes per talk, right? Five seven. to seven. Seven yeah. But But we give them 10 minutes. Not the talk is not going to be 10 minutes, but you know, there's time for silence. Oh, okay. So if you can see kind of like it's the, the blocks are in 10 minutes. And if we have 10 talks, it leads us into end. Does that make sense? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Um, so now I'm gonna go to, back to, where was I? Here, okay. So show production. Do you wanna move on from that? Yes. Okay. So the budget, Linda yes. Hinden. Mm -hmm. I'm here. Okay, so what I was going to do is, Linda, I can send you um, a link to, I'll send you the link to see how much money, well, it's not even money, I guess. Um, Pledges, contributions. On the tickets. Does that make sense? Okay, you broke up a little bit. What was that? I'm going to send you the Eventbrite. Okay. You got it. Okay. Sponsorship, we're just gonna hang on for Simone to kind of give us some guidance. Marketing, Tammy, is Dr. Tammy here? I'm here. Hey, Dr. Tammy. How's it going? <laughs> good, I have some good news. First of all, y'all, okay. two things. One, um, I need you guys to give Dr. Tammy some affirmation. Her book is coming out, is it today? Today it launches. Oh, what is it called? What is it called? Sorry. Oh, you can. You can. 33 stories. It's, it's actually 30. It's a collaboration project. So there's 32, uh, 33 of us in there and I'm one. So there's 32 other authors in there. Um, yeah. So how, do get how do we get your book? On my website, drtammyfrancis.com. Right on. Congratulations. Here. Thank you. No joke. So excited. That. That's my cool. favorite number. Okay. On mine. <laughs> Where's Are you the sure? book, ma'am? Yeah. Go to shop. Book me. Oh, book me. Book. Book. Jesus. Book. Okay. Shop. <laughs> Here it is. Yeah. And today it's um, free shipping and the $20 and then tomorrow. Oh, awesome. I'll check oh. out later. But right. whoop, whoop. Cool. So, that's uh, awesome. Yeah. Thanks. Congratulations. Okay. Be like a story per day for the month. I need that. That's nice. <laughs> Good idea. Good way to use that. And I have another one dropping later this month. Oh wow. my goodness. Awesome. Congratulations. I'm trying okay. to I'm trying to wait. 
<laughs> trying to space them out. <laughs> well, congratulations, Dr. Tammy. The second thing I wanted to say was Chris hadn't had uh, somebody reach out to him and wanted to help. Woo, Can you talk yay. A bit about that, Chris? No, who's that? <laughs> <laughs> Hello? Hello? <laughs> Chris? Are you joking? You're the one who told me about it. It's moose.com. Oh, I'm sorry. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> He's like, what? <laughs> so tell us about it, Chris. Tell Tammy about it. Uh, she wasn't here for that. Uh, it's moose.com. He's He does online marketing and regular standard marketing stuff for, uh, he's one of the members of the Chamber of Commerce in Portland. And I'd always seen his truck driving around town, It's Moose. I was wondering what the heck is It's Moose? So I ran into him at the chamber and called him up and said, hey, TEDx is coming to Corpus Christi. And he said, oh, that's great. And I asked him if he'd be willing to help or if I could talk to him about um, how much he'd cost. And he said, I wouldn't worry about the cost. I'd love to help, just tell me how I can help. Oh man, so that's all the video and stuff. Yeah. And he's the a photographer. Awesome. He's another potential photographer. Awesome. And he's in Corpus Christi. He's got employees all over the country, but he's in Corpus Christi. That's cool. If he's going to do that, just that's maybe getting him to do the photography as well because it'd be a one stop shop. I'll ask him. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Tim. That was great. So there you go, Dr. Tammy. Just connect with Chris. So the event logistics. That was me. I'm going to wait until after the TEDx Atlanta Live to come up with a, I guess, a play, like a timeline of how the event's going to go better. Make sense? Yes. And then the city liaison. So I've tried to connect with the city person, but they're not responding. And it's so strange because I work there. So, yeah. <laughs> but you know what we had recently? What, what did we have? Hmm, a hurricane. And who takes care of all the parks? Parks and Rec. And so they're very busy right now. So mm -hmm. I'll go ahead and continue to reach out to them and try to bring them back in the fold. So that way, um, Chris, you can just start helping with that, okay? Uh, media and video. I almost feel like show production and media and video are kind of together now. Definitely together. Can we just do that? Uh, Tim? Tim? Sorry, what? Do you want to just merge media and video with show production? Sure. Because now it's digital. Does that make sense? Was there another person that was on that? Chris. Chris. Okay, so right on. So me and Chris will. Yeah. yeah. Sure. So Dr. Tam Tammy already set up the group me. Thank you, Dr. Tammy. You're welcome. May help if my voice is on so you can hear me. Yeah, that's okay. <laughs> okay, so one of the things I haven't done is I haven't added you guys to the website. I haven't done any of this, so I'm sorry. It's been kind of busy. So I haven't done a lot of things, but I'm definitely going to add the sponsors to the website. Um, I have not purchased the Cold Park URL. I'm going to get that. Add the planning committee to the website. I've already set up the Zoom meeting. Is everybody having access to them? I think Sarita said she had trouble coming in today. I, th I think it's just me. I, yesterday I got bumped off of a meeting okay. again. I Just think me. now that we have the group me, it would be a good idea to keep the Zoom link pinned on that. Perfect. Just so we can have it, you know, whenever we need it. Oh, that'd be great. Okay. Because I'm, I'm off Facebook right now because I've been focusing on my thesis. So it's been hard to keep up. And I was so grateful for the group me for that. And also in Facebook, you have to go find the event. Yeah. And that, so it's like kind of a convoluted process. Can somebody do that? Put on the group. Working on it. Working on it. Who's that? Let me put it, Chris, put it on there. Maybe just pin it, Tammy. Yeah, just pin it. And then um, I'll make sure from now on to make to send a reminder, like, hey, we're gonna be tomorrow. Come, don't forget. 
unless you, uh, unless we just want to promote it on the group me i think probably group me is better like hey reminder yeah i think group me is the best thank you so yeah because i know i forget i'm like ah! i like the group me so that's good awesome all right and it goes straight to your phone like a message you know so that's really convenient yeah i haven't added you guys to the website i will do that i haven't even done anything to the website so i haven't done anything to the website in two weeks so i'm gonna work on that we had a hurricane <laughs> yeah, yeah 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 um remember we talked about how we were gonna we were gonna have an organization to support but I, after i thought about it i thought hmm maybe we're overthinking this because there's probably going to be a lot of organizations who qualify, you know, for support. Um, and the reason yeah. I said that was because with the way Nikki does it, uh, admitting Corpus Christi is she's going to have merch and she's going to take the cost of everything, shipping everything. And then she splits 50% of what she makes with her and her business. And then 50% goes to wherever we want. So I was just trying to think through who do we want that to be. And the more I thought about it, the more I thought, we may get into a situation where there's, you know what I mean? Maybe we should do something with it, you know? So let's just think through that. If everybody just think, okay? So you're talking about the $80 that goes straight to the merch is going to be $40 for Nikki and $40 for something else? Um, well, after the costs, right? So Nikki kind of calculates how much everything costs. And then based off of that, whatever the profit is, she keeps 50% for her business. And then 50% goes to the nonprofit or whatever organization, right? So what I was thinking is, what are we going to do with our 50%? We can't keep that money. Oh, okay. So just think creatively, okay? Can we put it towards next year's TED? Yeah. We can. We can. Yeah, I like that idea. Okay. So, but here's the thing, though. Now we're talking a bank account. Yeah managing it i'm just saying it turns yeah. into yeah. a thing mm. so there's just things to consider whenever you want to manage money yeah and and i don't know whether we're or so in the big the bigger scheme of things three years from now we could be like tedx atlanta you know some of those big cities they have tedx they have hired staff that do it like imagine being the director of tedx corpus christi you know and that's your job <laughs> because they're a nonprofit. Does that make sense? Yeah. If, but in the meantime, if we don't want to do that whole, like, you know, archiving of a year and stuff management, we, since it's community involvement and that's a theme for this year, we could also just do something that's very community involved. Right. Like what? Like, do we give the money well, to an organization? I wouldn't, I would do so. Well, the thing is, we're so constricted right now because of COVID, right? But like, when I think of community, a lot of the times I think of like even met Metro or the Metro organization that feeds like the home the homeless downtown. Yeah. And like, you know, something community like that, you know, where you help the less able, yeah. and, like in a one-on-one, because I think that interpersonal interaction is like one of the most you know, like fulfilling experiences really. And that's like, when you, when you talk about community building, that's one of the things that creates that bond in your community. When you, you know, you can rely on somebody else to help you when you're down. So do you so, want to talk about that for us? Yeah, I mean, I can, I can call Metro Ministries and see what, if there's even like an opportunity, right? I mean, the easiest thing would be to donate the money, right? Just give it to them and it's fine. But I think it would be nice to do something in, in the like interactive way, but it's so hard right me, now. I know Patty Clark. Do you want me to get in touch with Patty Clark? She's Metro Ministries. Oh, yeah, Patty. Do you know her, Deanna? Do you know Patty? I've met her before, but not like that. Okay. <laughs> Tim, do you know her really well? Yes. Yes. Good. Okay. So get a hold of Patty and ask her. So there's two things that could happen here. Obviously, I know poor man supper is coming. She she gets food donated by the food bank. So, um, and the good thing with Metro is that they 
they get supported by, you know, United Way, like, you know, I think there's just a lot of support coming to them. And so I really like the idea of connecting to our, you know, our less fortunate citizens. So somehow or another, mm -hmm. maybe we go serve in the, in, in, at Loaves and Fishes, but we also make a check contribution towards Metro. Okay. How about, what? A, why not like just straight to food bank? Yeah. Or Purple Door too, you know, the shelter. Yeah, Didn't last time idea. we talked about voting on, like, having a community vote for the different organizations we might want to give to. Yeah. Okay. Maybe maybe that's what what ministries or purple board. And divide it between those organizations. Yeah. So that's, that's three so right there. They could, like, promote the event and then also, you know, promote their, their, um, organization as well saying you know we want to hopefully get the prize from from the event i agree okay so actually now i remember that i'm so sorry y'all i completely forgot so let's all think of a list, let's all think of a nonprofit, like we already kind of talked about them right now, Metro Ministries, Purple Door, Food Bank, this cost of the Coastal Bend for kids, you know, there's. And then we could just vote on those. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Like we voted on the theme for the talk. Uh huh. We can have people go on there and vote, right? That'd yeah, be good. Be good the theme. And like you all said, that could be part of the marketing. It's like TEDx connected or getting connected to our community through yeah. whatever, mm -hmm. however you want to do that. You know what I'm going to do, if you don't mind? I'm going to send a poll to us of yeah. a whole bunch of organizations that, that, I mean, unless, you know, you guys can tell me if it's not on there, you can just add it. And then once we vote, we'll pick our top three or four. Three. You know what would be nice too if we're talking about production, <laughs> but this might be too much. If we do pick like three organizations, we could do like an interview with each organization and talk about how like they built the community up, you know, and like kind of play it even between sections yes. of the event. So it's sure. more like intimate and it's more like this is corpus, this is community, this is how we're Next connected, community. you know, and like use it as part of the branding. And it's like, it just shifts the whole focus more into really connecting with the community for the event. A little that commercial. Could part, that could be part of the hashtag connected to community. Right. Connected to community. Yeah. Love it. Love it. Connected so to community. Three, so the planning committee will pick the top three to be featured. And then there'll be one that gets announced as the big check receiver. Great. How much do you think we're thinking? Like, well, we're talking. If, if we play this right, the whole point here is that when people go and buy from the merch site, they know that they're contributing to their nonprofit, to that nonprofit. Does that make sense? Yes. So just think through when people go on there and buy whatever items Nikki's going to set up for us, because the VIPs are going to get it for sure. But people can also buy the stuff on their own. Right. So, I mean, I can't tell you whether it's going to be a hundred bucks or a thousand or 10,000. But I think yeah. anything is something, right? Right. Well, I just mean in terms of like a big check, you know, I, I don't think it would be as necessary to like promote the big check itself if it's like 300 bucks, you know? Well, I've seen stuff for like 500. Yeah. So. Well, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. I just think it's um, 300 bucks is 300 bucks. It still deserves a check. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> yeah. So, um, anyway, we'll figure out the logistics of that too, right? Of how to how to do that whole like I always say like the clearinghouse sweepstakes moment. Here's your check with balloons and stuff. Okay, let's kind of go a little bit quickly because we're one minute over. Um. Okay, I think that's pretty much it. All the other all the other things have to do with action items that we just need to work on. So, is there anything else anybody had? I was just going to ask, what did you um? What did you have in mind for Susan? I'll follow up with her this week. 
Oh, okay. Susan Ochoa. Yeah, I don't think was, she uh, came on. I didn't have yeah, it in so, your mind. I just primed you guys because you had never met her before and she didn't come in. So yeah, I'll find out from her because I was going to be in touch with her anyway uh, about what she wanted. But did you have something in mind? Did you have some like legal no. questions or do we need any kind of legal anything? No, not that I can think of. No, okay. I don't. And I don't know how she wanted to be involved. I just know that okay. she wanted to be involved. I'll just reach out to her. I was going to anyway and just tell okay. her that, uh, yeah, we want to know what she'd like to, how she'd like to participate. Okay. Yeah, that'll be good. Okay. Perfect. Okay. So just to recap, next week we are going to be seeing speakers and then not making any decisions. We're just hearing them. And then we're also attending TEDx Atlanta. Right on. And taking notes. <laughs> yeah. yeah, for sure. So we can, so we can learn from them because they have a, I mean, they have a production team, y'all. I'm excited. Yeah. So it's going to be cool. And then I'm going to be moderating one of their breakout sessions. Oh, cool. Yeah. That's exciting. Are you going to send yeah. us the link for that? Yeah. It's on the, the, it's on the chat. And, oh, and the writer's also going to put it in the, she's also going to put it in the Facebook. Yeah. But also, the, I guess the group me, whoever can do the group me, that'd be great. All right, y'all. It's been a pleasure on a Saturday morning. <laughs> Is there any task that we need for, for next week? I know that there's performers on there. Do we do it changes like what you kind of want? Yeah, or if we still want we, that? I don't know if we should have performers. Performers are really good if you have a live event. Yeah. But in this case, um, I think the performers are going to turn into like door prizes and uh, Com the commercials. Speakers. Yeah, the commercials. So, okay. um, I mean, I can't think of a of, of performer. I mean, I guess if somebody was really amazing, like there's that guy, Jason, who does those paintings that he flips upside down and are like super amazing afterwards. But we would want to have that recorded. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. That adds to now more work. So um the dj i think, I think we could use those times for the talking to the speakers live okay okay all right thank y'all thank bye, you everyone. Bye. 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 bye 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 we didn't take yeah. a picture who left what Ooh, somebody left already and i didn't take a picture it's okay uh oh Pause. Pause. Are you taking a picture? I'll take it then. I'll take it. But I feel bad. One person left. I'll do another like screenshot of the recording for them. You can add their like picture. Yeah. <laughs> add them. Let me. Just yeah. kidding. <laughs> okay. Is everyone ready? No. Ah. Okay. There we go. <laughs> Get your fanciness on. Okay. One, two, three. Two. All right. Two good ones. All right. Bye. 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 Bye.